John Velasquez says the champagne celebrating his third Kentucky Derby. Bob Baffert, a record tying sixth as a trainer, authentic takes the 2020 Kentucky Derby. Tis the Law was the heavy favorite, Jerry Bailey and Randy Moss. And you always have two stories when you have a heavy favorite and they don't win. The winner, and then what happened to the favorite? Why don't we take it all? Let's start with what happened to the favorite in this one, Jerry. I don't think anything happened to him. Maybe he didn't run his best race, but he certainly ran into a buzzsaw in Authentic today. Authentic started the season as one of Bob Baffert's best. He ended uh, the three-year-old season here. Well, it's not over yet, but he, he is certainly still Bob Baffert's best. And he just ran a gutsy race today. No bones about it. He was the best horse in the race today. As they break, Tis the Law actually outbreaks Authentic. Kind of pushes him out a little bit there. Has lead. Gives Manny Franco the option. His jockey the option to go to the lead. But Manny decides to. Let's do it the old fashioned way. The way we've been winning. And he eases him back. And John Velasquez to his outside. With a blaze face horse. Authentic. Is in no hurry to use any of Authentic's speed right now. I think that was a great move. Hmm. Because once you turn a speed horse loose. It's hard to get him back. So he's just very careful in rationing out his speed. Knowing he'll eventually get over to the rail as he hits the first turn. Babies him to the early lead. We expected him to be in front. He was. The fractions, given how fast the Churchill track was today, were very manageable. There you see Storm the Court 4 on the inside, New York traffic 15. And Manny Franco has Tis the Law in a perfect position. He's a little wide, but if you're the best horse, theoretically, then that's okay. It's basically the same position he was in in the Traverse Stakes and the Belmont Stakes before that. This is the kind of trip that Manny Franco wanted on Tizla. We've all talked about it, and Manny wanted to be here. He's there. New York traffic is the gray horse laying second. He's keeping authentic on the lead, honest enough. The fractions were honest enough. And I think Manny Franco on Tizla is happy right now as he creeps up and is going to put some pressure himself on the leader, Authentic. Now, we thought Authentic could be distance challenged. He barely held on in the Haskell after making an easier early lead than this even. But Bob Baffert said that he was training better coming into this Kentucky Derby than at any point. But right here, the race is on. Franco and Tis the Law come up to the outside of Authentic. If there is any distance limitation on Authentic, it's going to show up right here because they are literally side by side at the quarter pole. And Manny Franco's looking behind him at that point. For the second time, he just looked back, which tells us, viewing tells me as a rider that he thinks he's got enough horse to beat the horse in front of him. He's looking for competition from behind. I, I kind of think he underestimated how much Authentic had left. John Velasquez, Authentic's jockey, certainly kept a little in reserve. It might have caught Tizalaw by surprise, but in any event, it's just a gutsy performance by Authentic. I think two things happen here, Mike. I think it's a combination. Gutsy performance by Authentic. I think he runs about two lengths better than he had ever run before. Mm -hmm. Tis the Law's wins this year so far had come after breaks of 8, 12, and seven weeks. Right. He comes off of the Travers into the Kentucky Derby off of a four week break. Sometimes horses aren't quite as sharp off less rest. And I think he ran three or four lengths off of his form in the Travers. For Bob Baffert, it was a very emotional day for a bunch of reasons, starting with one of his horses that he had two in the race scratching because of a flare up in the paddock. But he finds a way to win with Authentic, and it's his sixth Kentucky Derby title, and that places him tied all-time with Ben Jones for the most career wins by a trainer in Kentucky Derby history. And on top of this bit of history, Baffert extends his record, the most triple crown wins by a trainer. He has 16 for his career. Authentic and of Tis the Law, Mr. Big News third. Honor AP comes in fourth. You look back through the rest of the field, Thousand Words is the other Baffert horse that we talked about who scratches. So we had a field of 15. It's been two decades plus since we had that few horses in the Derby. So this bizarre year has another little turn to it on this Derby day. And now we talk about the Preakness a month ahead with, uh, as usual, questions as to which horses we will see at Pimlico come October. Well, we've talked about this off camera, and I think, I think Randy thinks that Authentic and Tizzle may skip the Preakness waiting for the Breeders' Cup Classic later on in the year, but there's a horse named Art Collector waiting in the wings for the Preakness. And King Guillermo, who was also scratched mm -hmm. from the Kentucky Derby. Of the two, Authentic and Tis the Law, I think because Authentic did not run in the Belmont, right. that he is probably the most likely to show up in the Preakness. So it's going to be a good Preakness one way or the other. And now for Tis the Law, two lifetime losses both right. at Churchill Downs. And maybe a wait till November to the Breeders' Cup Classic. And maybe we'll see these horses exactly. duel again. And if you think about the first week in October, the Preakness, and then the first weekend in November, 
the Breeders' Cup, and the classic, the capper of that. Had some good racing ahead. Sensational day. It was not a day for the favorites. Only one favorite won in the 14 races at Churchill Downs on Derby Day 2020. Authentic was the number three choice going in. John Velasquez likes that number three. Third time he wins the Kentucky Derby. Authentic takes Derby number 146.